tops. All we ask at Neath Smith is before you buy to give us a chance to save you some money. We will have the best prices and give you the most for your trade guaranteed. So don't pay too much. Come and see us today and let us show you how we can get you into the vehicle you want at the lowest price guaranteed. Only at Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC of Jessup on Highway 341 towards Brunswick. Or visit us online at neesmithnow.com. That's neesmithnow.com or at 912-427-2045. There ain't nothing wrong with the right price. Local news on WIFO. It's time now for a little East End local news and the news. Everything's set for the big celebration Saturday in Scriven, Georgia, with the highlight being the annual fireworks show, which will begin around 9.30 p.m. tomorrow night. Music and booths will begin at 5 p.m. The presentation of the colors will be held at 6. Entertainment will begin right after the presentation of the colors. The city of Scriven wants to thank Wayne Memorial Hospital once again for their donation and financial support of the fireworks show. Once again, food, fun, and entertainment all set for the July 4th celebration. Begin a reminder with the July 4th. On a Monday this year, the celebration of fireworks show in Scriven set for tomorrow night, Saturday, July 2nd. Once again, the fireworks will begin at 9.30 p.m. tomorrow evening. Looking for that, watermelon or peaches or other locally produced fruits and vegetables will look no further than the farmer's market today and Saturday. Today from 1 to 7 and Saturday from 9 to 1. Locally produced fruits and vegetables, jams, jellies, relishes, baked goods, flowers, tomato plants, fresh eggs, you name it, they have got it at the Wayne County Farmer's Market. Again, located at 533 North 1st Street. If you need additional information this weekend, simply call 256 256- Two three three two. That's two five six two three three two. Get the Wayne County Farmers Market ready for the July Fourth holiday. Finally, a reminder from law enforcement that they and the Georgia State Patrol will be out in full force over the July Fourth holiday, making certain to crack down on drunk drivers and those speeding on Georgia roadways. The slogan once again is "Drive sober or be pulled over." The state of Georgia attempted to stop the carnage that continues on Georgia roadways. Last year during the July Fourth holiday, 15 people lost their lives. That was up from 14 the previous year. This year alone, the state of Georgia ahead of last year's pace of highway deaths in the state. And they state the number one cause is distracted drivers using their cell phones and texting and driving. Once again, if you're driving, put the phone away. Keep your eyes on the road. Georgia State Patrol and local law enforcement wish everyone a happy 4th of July holiday. But again, they ask that you make it a safe holiday and obey all traffic laws. This year, an extended holiday with July 4th on a Monday. Georgia DOT says they'll stop all construction lane closures beginning at 5 p.m. today up until 12.01 Tuesday, July the 5th. We'll be back with more news after this word from our sponsor and other commercial messages, so please stay tuned. Hello, my name is Chad Neesmith from Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC of Jessup. At Neesmith, we had the biggest inventory of new and used vehicles around. We also had the best prices guaranteed. We know everyone wants the best vehicle at the best price. At Neesmith, we'll give you just that. We sell all makes and models from Lexuses, Nissans, BMWs, and of course all GM and domestic cars too. Best of all, if we don't have the vehicle on the lot you want, we can get it for you in just a day or two, tops. All we ask at Neesmith Smith is before you buy to give us a chance to save you some money. We will have the best prices and give you the most for your trade guaranteed. So don't pay too much. Come and see us today and let us show you how we can get you into the vehicle you want at the lowest price guaranteed. Only at Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC of Jessup on Highway 341 towards Brunswick. Or visit us online at neesmithnow.com. That's neesmithnow.com or at 912-427-2045. There ain't nothing wrong with the right price. Big 4th of July savings going on now at your local Sears hometown store with America's appliance experts at 977 South 1st Street in Jessup. Get 40% or more off appliance store busters and up to 30% off all other appliances. Plus, when you use a Sears card, you'll get an extra 5% off all appliances or 12-month special financing on appliances over $499. Take up to 20% off mowers, trimmers, and pressure washers, up to 30% off Craftsman Pro Series riding mowers, and up to 25% off all other riding mowers. Special financing is available too. Take up to 40% off Craftsman tools and save up to 30% on grills and up to 40% on patio sets. It's also time for Sears Hometown Exclusive Mattress Offer. Buy a select Sealy Posture Pedic or Serta Perfect Sleeper Mattress Set and get four gifts free. Select a free award card, free box spring, free bed frame, and free delivery. Check out more 4th of July doorbuster savings throughout the store. Now through Sunday, July 10th at your local Sears Hometown Store, 977 South 1st Street in Jessup. Today's July 1st, and beginning today, a batch of new laws go into effect into the state of Georgia. The laws affect the police, court schools, and even our health. Here's a list of some of the bigger laws getting the most attention. House Bill 965, the Honorable Jimmy Carter Cancer Treatment Access Act. This law is inspired by former President Jimmy Carter after his recent battle with cancer. It will help people get access to the same drugs that helped him and saved his life. Starting July 1, insurance companies will 
will not be able to limit coverage for advanced drugs for stage 4 cancer patients. Before the law, some patients were forced to try other treatments before being allowed to get more aggressive drugs like the ones that helped Jimmy Carter. House Bill 34, Georgia Right to Try Act. This law will let terminally ill patients use experimental drugs. The FDA's drug approval process can take more than a decade. Advocates for this law say that's too long to wait on medications with so many people dying from terminal illnesses. The drugs must be at least undergoing clinical trials but do not have to be fully approved by the FDA. House Bill 941, procedures for grand jury proceedings when a law enforcement officer used deadly force. There's now a law affecting police officers faced with possible charges for using deadly force. Officers were originally allowed to sit in on their own grand jury proceedings. They could listen to evidence and then make a statement at the end. They could not be questioned or challenged, but now officers cannot be present for the entire proceeding, and they will face questioning once they make a statement. This law comes after nationwide criticism and increasing scrutiny of officers using deadly force. House Bill 792, allowing students to carry electroshock weapons on college campuses. 18-year-old college students will now be able to carry tasers and stun guns on campus. This bill was made as another option for students wanting to protect themselves on campus without allowing deadly weapons. Governor Deal vetoed the campus carry bill that would have let students carry guns on campus. Law says the tasers can only be used for self-defense. House Bill 152, Michael's Law, you now have to be 21 years of age to enter any bar in the state of Georgia. Bouncers and bartenders will also have to be 21 to work in a bar. It's called Michael's Law, named after 18-year-old Michael Gatto, who died after he was assaulted by a 20-year-old bouncer soon after Michael started college. The only exception is if the person under 21 is accompanied by a parent, guardian, or spouse who is at least 21 years old. They can also enter the bar if they paid to see some type of concert or performance at the bar. Governor Deal signed the law to also combat underage drinking. It passed last year, but Governor Deal gave bars a year to prepare for the change. And Senate Bill 364 revises state mandated test and teacher principal and assistant principal evaluations. This law reduces the number of state mandated tests allowed. It will also lessen how testing results can influence teacher evaluations. That means tests will drop from counting it as at 50% of a teacher's evaluation down to 30%. This law is even more significant with all the controversy over the Georgia milestones. Again, those just some of the laws that were passed by the legislature go into effect beginning today, July 1st. We'll be back with some final news notes after this word from our sponsor and other commercial messages, so please stay tuned. Hello, my name is Chad Neesmith from Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC of Jessup. At Neesmith, we had the biggest inventory of new and used vehicles around. We also had the best prices guaranteed. We know everyone wants the best vehicle at the best price. At Neesmith, we'll give you just that. We sell all makes and models from Lexuses, Nissans, BMWs, and of course all GM and domestic cars too. Best of all, if we don't have the vehicle on the lot you want, we can get it for you in just a day or two, tops. All we ask at Neesmith is before you buy to give us a chance to save you some money. We will have the best prices and give you the most for your trade guaranteed. So don't pay too much. Come and see us today and let us show you how we can get you into the vehicle you want at the lowest price, guaranteed. Only at Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC of Jessup on Highway 341 towards Brunswick. Or visit us online at NeesmithNow.com. That's NeesmithNow.com or at 912-427-2045. There ain't nothing wrong with the right price. Looking for some fun this summer? Then go to Splash in the Borough. It's a water park with something for everyone's thrill level. Try the giant trio slides that twist and turn. Then plunge you into a pool of water. Or the five-lane net racer towering nearly five stories above the water park. And for the ride of your life. Try the only dual flow rider in Georgia. Next, test your balance skills on the lively lily pads. And then uh, relax in the 800-foot winding lazy river. And for the little kids, there's a 6,000-square-foot spray ground with tot slides, water sprays, and a wading pool. Admission is only $13.99. And kids 48 inches and under get $3 off. Splash in the Borough is open daily until August 7th, then weekends through Labor Day. Certain rules and regulations apply. Flow Rider has an additional charge. Splash, 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 splash in the Borough. Final notes in the news, once the July 4th holiday ends, the back-to-school sales will begin as Wayne County will be about a month away from opening school doors and having classes. At Tuesday's school board monthly meeting, maintenance supervisor Ray Thornton gave the board their report on the Odom Elementary School, saying that everything is on schedule. The new school will be ready for the opening day of school on August 5th. The board also approved their 2016-2017 budget, discussed and approved, spending around $80,000 to help improve the current track at J.C. Stadium. After the meeting, we talked with school superintendent Jay Brinson. 
Here, Superintendent Jake Brinson, the budget finally approved tonight. It was advertised in the local newspaper, so I know you're happy about the budget getting approved tonight. Right, and that's a lot of uh, hard work uh, led by Ms. Tony Williams, who does a fantastic job every year uh, working with our principals and, of course, with our board of education to, to get to this point to be able to approve a budget going to the next fiscal year. The 3% pay raise for the bus drivers, that was state mandated. That's correct? correct. That's correct. And everybody else gets a 2% pay yeah, raise? Yeah, they're getting, everybody one else will get a 2%, I guess a one-time bonus. We're going to put it in, in one check and in the fall for them. Um, that's just to... Um, you know, avoid paying some of the costs that go around and go, go along with it if you put it in the pay scale. Um, and also, it's, though it is election year, so you never know what kind of uh, budget constraints or challenges are going to come in the next general session as well. It's also on the overall budget, as a superintendent. Are you pleased with the system is financially? I am, I am. And then that's going back to previous boards of education. Again, Ms. Williams leading that charge. We come through one of the worst economic you know, downturns and times in our, uh, in our lifetimes. And for us to have a healthy fund balance that we've come through with is very commendable. Didn't have anything to do with, do with me. That was here long before I, I walked in the door. But that's enabled us to now, you know, take care of our teachers a little bit, give them a raise, add some positions back. Um, you know, again, trying to improve that instruction. That's why we're here to ensure the learning of kids. Um, so that we'll be able to add some things back. So when you look and see us where you're operating, going into next year, you know, or, or two or three million dollar deficit, well, our fund equity. Is that healthy and we can withstand that um, and again we have some other things on the horizon we're still hopeful to, to get that amount of flip of money back and adjust our budgets and a lot of uncertainty out there but again i think it's time to take care of our our teachers and, and continue to try to improve instruction big issue it continues to be the track again you mentioned the flip of money is coming if they get that money which they say we're getting the school gets like 1.5 million of that could they possibly use that for the track facility C certainly could and, and the track is I, I think everyone agrees our track is our number one athletic need and it's really up there as a the number one need in our um, school system I don't know if it's the number one as far as the overall school system but it's it's up there pretty good and certainly if we get you know uh, you know a couple million dollars I, I think we can certainly scope some of that money out to satisfy that track issue and provide something nice for our, all of our student athletes and the entire system in the meantime you still want to try to do something currently with the track just to make it feasible was that correct right we're not moving away from JC Stadium or Donaldson Madrid Field anytime soon and so that track that we had is just deteriorated it's, you know, so so far that we need to do something to maintain it we spend we spend thousands of dollars every year to maintain some of the athletic facilities we have now, i.e. The, the tennis courts. We've got some of the nicest courts around in this area, but we spend money every year to maintain them. So um, I think we've got some direction now to move forward um, uh, from the board to move forward addressing the track to a degree. It's certainly not going to be a state of the art million dollar track like we hope to you know, eventually get to one day, but I think it'll suffice at least give our current student athletes and also our community something a little nicer to, to utilize during the day and during track season. Okay, Jay, thanks. Thanks, Bob. And final note of news, the Altamont Classic Cruisers have their monthly meeting and cruising on Saturday, July 2nd from 5.30 to 7.30 at Hardee's. And music will be provided by Old School Music. Registration begins and a first place trophy for the best of cruise will be presented as well as a second place plaque. Only registered participants are eligible to vote and receive a door prize. Once again, that's this Saturday at Hardee's from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. The Altamont Classic Cruiser Show. That's going to do it for the latest in local news. Sports coming away in a few minutes. Bob Morgan said have a great day. You've been listening to local news on WIFO. Summer's